Hello humans, wishing you a very lovely Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, St. Nicholas Day, whatever it is that you and yours celebrate. I am here at the home of my human parents where I have many childhood memories as a childhood and baby clone. Whether those memories were implanted or they actually happened, I'm not sure, but I am surrounded by many of my friends here, uh, which will were a part of many of those memories. Uh, we have folks represented here from Star Wars, Power Rangers, Batman and DC, uh, Marvel, we have some Turtles, we have Jake the Snake as well, rep solely representing WWF, by the way. Uh, some people are not in such great health as you can see, Wolverine, Hulk, a Cyclops, uh, many folks who have had a limb uh, pulled off of them or snaggled by a dog or maybe too much banging together. Uh, and I'm going to be counting down my top five favorite presents. Uh, many of these guys were part of those presents through the years, but my top five favorite Christmas presents from Santa. So starting with an honorable mention, I want to talk about the Bruce Wayne Custom Coupe. In the Batman Returns figure line, there was a Michael Keaton figure that also came with a bat suit. Now, I'm not really sure if this resemblance to Michael Keaton is very accurate at all. Um, actually, I'm quite sure it is not. Here's the cowl right here, so you can put the cowl on him, make him Batman when he needs to be. You know, when he's got to go do like Wayne Manor business, Wayne Enterprises stuff, he's got to get in his, you know, purple uh, turtleneck that he wears. And then put. Bruce Wayne and his amazing uh, sports car, the Custom Coupe, which is a sweet looking, almost Batmobile, but then when he has to change into Batman and really kick some criminal ass, you can pull out the back and voila, Batman comes out of nowhere. There's missile launchers, there's all kinds of things. I mean, this was a really cool toy. Uh, I used it as the Batmobile a lot and then probably gave it, as a, uh, gave it away as a sports car to many other action figures that I owned as well. So that's my honorable mention. Number five. Number five I'm still lucky to have. It is this 15 inch Superman figure doll from Hamilton Gifts. Now I'm not really sure how much I played with this guy, um, but I did fly him around a lot and he was a really cool thing to just like set up on a shelf and know that he was watching over me while I was sleeping or keeping me safe from the monsters under my bed. He doesn't really have many uh, actionable things that he can do. He can kind of salute uh, or maybe that's like deathly karate chop. Um, he's quite chiseled uh, though, so he's very strong. He's got this awesome sweet cape. He can fist bump uh, with this one. So that's really cool. Now there was a whole line of these. I really, the one I really wanted was the Batman and Robin. Um, they also had a Joker, they had a Wonder Woman, they had um, a whole line of Marvel that they did as well. Um, I guess for some reason I got the Superman uh, because they were out of Batman or maybe I had too much Batman stuff, but I did quite enjoy always flying this Superman around and it does look quite a lot like Christopher Reeves. Um, so, uh, you know, it's a pretty cool, uh, pretty cool little toy. I'm still glad that I have that one. So for my number four, I go over to the movie Home Alone, starring Macaulay Culkin. Uh, specifically, Home Alone 2. Um, both were my jam and loved them, but I always wanted the talk boy that uh, Kevin had in Home Alone 2. And if you remember, it's uh, the scene where he tried to make the hotel reservation using the talk boy through the payphone. It was like a little voice recorder. Anyway, they sold those and I wanted one so bad. Now, for whatever reason, I didn't get it. Instead, I don't know, maybe Santa got confused. Maybe my parents got confused when they were talking to Santa. I for sure did not get confused. But the Macaulay Culkin doll is actually what I received. And I remember kind of being like, ah, it's still cool. I think I was young enough. It had a little string. Uh, that you could pull and it would like, you know, say lines from the movie such as You know, it's kind of a creepy looking doll, but I do remember like carrying it around a lot and you know maybe like taking it to church or something like that and pulling the string and like getting in trouble because it was making noise uh anyway it was kind of an obnoxious toy but i really enjoyed it anyway that's the macaulay culkin uh screaming saying lines from the movie doll that i didn't get instead of the talk boy 
Now, moving along to number three. This is probably about 1989 to 1991. Toy Biz had the Batman movie license, and my human parents bought all of it for me, including this amazing Batmobile that had two seats where you could put Batman and Robin in. This thing has really fallen apart with so much wear and tear over the years, I guess. Um, there was also like a trunk space that was pretty sweet, and so, you know, if you were really wanting to treat one of the criminals like crap, you could throw him back there. I missed kind of the Super Powers uh, slash Super Friends figure line that Kenner did. And I always wanted that with like the Batman that had the blue and the gray and Robin and Superman. Um, but I never had them um, and had to kind of, uh, with my timeline, collect from the Toy Biz line. But they had this sweet Batcave from the Batman movie. And that is my number three Christmas gift. It was so amazing. Batman could sit on his bat computer and like see what was going on around town and any criminals he needed to check in on. Uh, there was also like a little hole on the side where you could kind of kick Joker into this endless abyss. Um, there was a jail where you could put Joker in jail or Bob the Goon. There was lots of little like, you know, I don't know what you call them, like scaffolding pieces and staircases that they could fight on. You know, when you're little, you build a lot of like villain hideouts or superhero bases with blocks or Lincoln logs or whatever it is that you have. And this was really cool because even though I still liked doing that, this was like an all-in-one amazing Batcave set um, that just looked really cool to the movie and all the molding with the... Um, you know, rocks and cave-like features. It was just a really, really cool toy. So glad Santa brought that. And I can even remember that Santa had set it up with Batman figures actually posed on it when I went downstairs to find it that morning under the tree. And it was so cool. Now, for my number two, uh, it's also the same Christmas I remember getting number one. So this was like a really good Christmas, like probably the best I ever had. And it was the He-Man Power Sword. I don't have it anymore, so I don't know if that just got lost in a garage sale or something. But this sword was so cool. I remember seeing the commercial with the little kid battling Skeletor in the commercial. He-Man and Skeletor don't look anything like they did in the cartoon. Um, of course, I was a little bit older or younger um, to really remember collecting the He-Man figures and uh, was kind of like late to the He-Man game watching the reruns of the cartoons. I wasn't really hip to it when it first came out as a kid. Um, but I was hip to the movie that came out with Dolph Lundgren and I just thought that movie was so awesome and was watching all the He-Man cartoon reruns. So I had to have the power sword because I wanted to be like He-Man and say... By the power of Grayskull! This sword was really cool. It lit up and it had some sound effects. Um, I can remember probably like hitting it up against like things in the house that I probably really shouldn't have. Um, so I'm sure it got taken away from me a few times here. So for number one, this is the greatest ever. I mean, any figure line, any brand, I could put these figures on this base and it would be amazing. I don't care if it was Power Rangers, Batman in DC, Marvel, whatever, but it was specifically for Marvel. And uh, we talked earlier about how Toy Biz had brought out the Batman figure line and then the DC line. Well, they also had a Marvel Heroes line. And some of these guys are from that era. You know, you got Daredevil, Punisher down here, Wolverine and Hulk and Cyclops. They're all kind of missing limbs uh, for whatever reason. There was this thing called the Marvel Training Center, and it was awesome. It had a working elevator that went up and down. It had little, you know, walls for Spider-Man to climb up. It had, like, a little cinder block wall type thing, brick wall, whatever you want to call it, that Hulk could bust through. It had a grappling hook crane that adjusted up and down. You could put Daredevil on that or anything. It was just so cool. And it was not only, like, awesome for the Marvel 
heroes. You could also use it as like the Hall of Justice for the super friends. Or I could use it as like the Power Ranger base where they all went and talked to Zordon or whatever. So I mean there was a million use cases for it. And uh, same way with the Batcave, I can remember um, you know, going downstairs, seeing the He-Man sword, and then seeing the Marvel Training Center all set up with like my action figures already like playing on it, and it looked like they were having such a good time. Um, so I knew I was gonna have a good time, of course. So those are my top five favorite Christmas presents to receive from Santa. Uh, as a childhood clone and maybe you saw something that you received for Christmas here or some of the memories that I was going through like spark something that you got that you really loved so I just hope that created a lot of good memories for everyone lots of good thoughts about Christmas or Kwanzaa or Hanukkah or St. Nicholas Day whatever it is that you and your family celebrate I hope it's wonderful and I just want to say happy holidays to everyone all right this is the clone, Marky Mayfield, signing off.